City Hall became La Alcaldia de la Cuidad for the evening to celebrate the Latino experience here in Somerville. Visitors explored hallways filled with art, music, food, and photos that celebrated the Espiritu Latino. Reporter Karishma Desai was there. Somerville residents gathered at City Hall to celebrate the city's Latino heritage. This is the first time and I feel so proud because I, um, the community, the Latino community especially, they respond well to, the, uh, uh, to this event and uh, hopefully we will get more people involved. Local photographer Mario Quiroz also debuted his photograph exhibit Espirito Latino at City Hall. The main idea is to create a visual record of what does it mean to be Latino in Somerville in 2015. So instead of doing traditional portraits in, you know, like in non-natural environment, we took the camera and we went where people live, where people work, and we photographed them there. So they're in their natural environment and you can see the goodness coming from their heart. Mayor Curtitoni spoke regarding the significance of diversity in Somerville. Because we speak 52 languages, one third of our population comes from another country, and it's so important that we build upon that incredible richness that we have in our community. Vibrant and intricate woodwork by father-son duo Ventura and Beto Fabian was also on display. The Fabians are here as a part of the Mexican Visiting Artists Program. Ventura Fabian is the uh, is actually a famous wood carver, and that's his son Norberto who does most of the painting. And they're from a wood carving village in uh, called San Martin Tilcajete, right outside the big colonial, beautiful town of Oaxaca, Mexico. The animals are traditional indigenous animals. And then there are pure alebrijes that are totally from the imagination. Their indigenous tribe goes back to the Zapotecs, which are like the Aztecs or the Mayans. In Oaxaca, they're the largest indigenous group. And in the temples there, the runes, you could actually see these designs carved into stone. So they, they use that for their inspiration and a lot of their, their work is covered with Zapotec designs. Summer Viva, who co-sponsored the event, helps connect immigrant residents with services and promotes cultural diversity. Especially now, Summer Viva is um, doing a lot of uh, changes and we want uh, all the communities be involved in all the process. So that is part of our job, get the community involved. Habits are really hard to break. And if you are set in your ways or in one way of doing things, only when there's an earthquake, something that shakes things around you, makes you wonder. But we shouldn't have to wait for an earthquake to have a sh to shake us and start looking around. And it's not that tomorrow we all have to learn to speak five different languages, but at least to learn the basic of cultures. And you know, it's that's why food is so wonderful because it's a very good way to blend things. I think it's really important for everybody to know about everybody, as simple as, as that. Because you might have wonderful things sitting next to you, but if you don't go and knock, knock and ask, or you cannot communicate because language barriers or whatever reason, you know, you might be sitting next to a pile of gold. So that's why it's so wonderful to have spaces and to use art to create this like invisible oil that lubricates relationships. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Karishma Desai. The Espiritu Latino photo exhibit by Mario Quiroz will be on display at Somerville City Hall through January 19th.